We're all in an abusive relationship. Guys, all the content creators that you watch, we are in an abusive relationship with YouTube. They just keep abusing us and they abuse us and then we like, we make these rants and say like, oh God, they're, they're abusing us and they're hurting us and they're doing all these terrible things to us. So let's just break this down a little bit because right now YouTube has made some changes that have everyone freaking out. You guys may have seen Ethan Klein's video over on H3H3. You guys may have seen all the outrage on um, on Twitter and, and that sort of thing. Maybe it's some other videos, people are freaking out. YouTube has been testing and thinking about changing the way the last sacred element works, and that's the subscription feed. They're thinking about making it no longer chronological. They're gonna start doing it in a personalized order. I don't know what the hell that means, but that sounds an awful lot to me like they're gonna do uh, with the feed, with the subscription feed, the same thing they did with the main page. They're gonna make it really difficult to find a lot of your favorite content, and they're going to prioritize the content that makes them the most money, which means niches, fuck off, buy niches. You guys were cool for a while, this was the Wild West, and now you're gone. Let's go through everything YouTube's done uh, up until now. So they changed their algorithm, right? And that hurt a lot of people. For us, about 40 to 60% of our um, our views every month came from the recommended feed. That's like, you know, after you watch the video, the video's here, and then you have the sidebar, da -da 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 -da, all these recommended feed, you know, feed videos. And that was a lot of our traffic. Now it's like you watch one of our videos, you watch, I don't know, one of Joker's videos or something, and the sidebar is just BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed. Top 10 anime boobs. Holy shit, I'm glad that that is on my sidebar. While that's always showing up on my sidebar, like anime boobs and check out this yoga girl's ass or whatever, all that's on the sidebar, I can't say fuck. Nope, censor, out of here. We can't talk about politically sensitive things. We can't talk about a, a protest or some sort of ridiculous violence that happened because that's politically sensitive and not good for advertisers. Meanwhile, the thing that blows my mind is YouTube is like cracking down all this stuff and at the same time, marketing companies, they're jumping to advertise on brands and, and uh, you know, I guess IP like dead Deadpool that's extremely body is the right word for it. It's very body. They're jumping to advertise for that. So advertisers are not afraid of swearing. They're not afraid of controversial content. YouTube just really wants predictable content that they uh, can control. And in order to do that, they're going to have to control the algorithms and make sure that only the watered down mainstream bullshit reaches the top. Then they change the main page. It's no longer the subscription feed. Now it's just a a smorgasbord of bullshit that YouTube is trying to shove down your throat. And it's usually like, hey, look at Logan Paul run around and throw Pikachu uh, dolls at Japanese people while being extremely offensive and racist. Top of YouTube, you know, Buzzfeed, top of YouTube. On top of that, they have done everything they can to demonetize videos that are even remotely sensitive. So all that's done. I'm looking at a lot of YouTube creators who are right now yelling and screaming, right? They're freaking out because now YouTube's thinking about changing the way they do the subscription feed. And they've gone back and forth on Twitter and said, we're testing this out. We're not gonna do this. We are gonna do this. I, they're still testing it, guys. But what are we gonna do? We're gonna take the abuse and we're gonna keep on making videos. So here is why, here's why we're gonna take the abuse. Because we don't really have any other options. People you know, say, hey, we can go over to DTube. And that's great. Steam is, is a really nice cryptocurrency. It goes up and down in price. Uh, but you need a lot of views. And until you, the viewer, are all over there ready for us, it's like a chicken and the egg problem. Are you gonna go over there first or are we gonna go over there first? And if we go over there, you know, a lot of you guys are just like, no longer paying attention to YouTube, unsubbed. I'm not gonna go to YouTube to follow you. Well, fine. Th then we have a problem here, you know, cause we can't make enough money to feed ourselves and you guys are not gonna get the content. That's, that's the way it is. Um, also marketing companies, they don't know what the fuck DTube is. They don't know what the hell even, they barely know what Vimeo is other than the fact that, like, oh, there's some cool hipster videos on there and there you can have nudity, that's neat. They barely know what anything is other than YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, and whatever the newest modern craze is that they can use a word like synergy with. So if you come to them and say, yo, we've got a lot of, yo, yo, we got a lot of subscribers on DTube, they're gonna be like, okay, how about YouTube? We don't care about DTube. So that makes it really difficult for us to move, even though we're being abused. We know that even though we're gonna have to take a hit and even though we're gonna have to, you know, start eating beans and rice instead of steak and potatoes or whatever, we're still gonna have to stick around on YouTube. And that's really rough. Uh, what you guys can do to, to, to help is like, if, if you have a favorite YouTuber or a favorite content creator, um, try to find them outside of YouTube, whether it's on Twitter, uh, whether it's on some social media, but preferably on their own website. Now we have a website and I have not really been paying attention to it. 
I've been so disheartened by the junk that's happened. Um, I kind of like backed up from the website and we're just like, whatever, we're just gonna do our thing. And I started focusing a lot on the video game, uh, started working on some other side projects that you guys don't know about, uh, even started working on some web design projects. So a lot of stuff that's outside of YouTube. That's why we're not doing a lot of content because YouTube doesn't pay the bills and I've been really disheartened by it all. Um, so, you know, if you guys really love Tech Syndicate and really want to see more stuff that happens, maybe you guys really like our weird flavor, uh, or you guys like some of the skits that we do, we're going to be doing more skits in the future, and you want to see that, head over to our real website. I will get in there and start fixing it in the next week or so. Uh, the, the forum has not been working that well, and I've just kind of left it alone. I've been like, whatever. So that's my fault. Because right now, you know, me and all the other people who are on YouTube, we built a house on somebody else's property. That's how dumb it is to rely upon YouTube. You know, I've, I've, I've said this for years that, you know, all of us who are on YouTube, it can't stay this way. YouTube does not make money. And they've been trying to figure out how to make money. And right now they're doing some really dumb things that they think is gonna make money, but they're gonna lose their soul in the process. They're gonna lose their niches. Uh, and people are not gonna care about them anymore. They're gonna become the same thing as TV. It just watered down bullshit for the masses. And the real audience that was trying to get away from all that stuff is now gonna be like, why are we here? And they're gonna start looking for something else. And there's gonna have to be a breaking point at some, you know, somewhere in there. Either YouTube is going to beat us to death and kill us, or we're going to figure it out and get the fuck out of there. And the audience needs to come with us. So if you guys are in this, we're gonna try to figure it out. But as soon as we can stop doing YouTube, we're done with it. As soon as we get fin funded for, funded? As soon as we get funded to make the video game, or you know, if we do a Kickstarter or something like that, we are going to focus on that, and then I promise you guys we'll be doing regular vlogs and stuff like that to show you the updates in the game. And if we make a decent amount of money doing that, I will hire people to do Tech Syndicate full-time and then come and do like a video a week. I don't want it to go away, but there's a lot of really cool things that can happen. And when one door you know, closes, whether you close it yourself or whether it gets slammed in front of you, that doesn't mean it's the end. There are so many people throughout history who have had 20 failed ideas and then one huge one that was amazing. And every time one of their ideas failed, you can see like the, the people in you know, the news, the press, their friends were all like, give up, what are you doing? Stop, give up, you're garbage, this is never gonna work. And they try again and they try again and they try again. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep trying new and different things uh, and hopefully all of our projects will have that same weirdness and that same fun uh, that, that we'd like to try to go for. So we'll see you guys there. Mm -hmm.